in central Israel, GPS was jammed. This was felt by residents of large cities, including Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, apps that depend on geolocation fail. There are warnings that cruise missiles or UAVs, something with GPS guidance, could be sent here. I understand that they are trying to disrupt this, and this is basically what their idea is about. IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari confirmed that spoofing, that is substitution of the GPS signal, is operating in the country. In Israel, this technology has been constantly used over the past six months on the northern border with the Lebanon. Exchanges of fire with Hezbollah militants continued there. The Israel Defense Forces has cancelled the dismissals of military personnel from combat units. Reservists from air defense units have also been called up. The Prime Minister recently told U.S. Congress people who were visiting, that Iran's formal policy has shifted from ideological to practical. Iran seeks the destruction of the state of Israel. And over the last six months, Iran has been actively working to destabilize the region. The state of Israel is prepared for every scenario. We will respond with force to any attempts to attack us. No one should be in any doubt that the strategic Middle Eastern power balance Iran and its proxies, Hezbollah, Hamas, and the Houthis, are indeed agents of chaos. Iran has vowed to take revenge on Israel for the death of Sunni Islamic revolutionary guard Kokimonde, Mohammad Reza Zahidi, and other 12 people following a strike on an Iranian diplomatic compound in the Syrian capital, Damascus. Israel did not comment on the attack. Between Iran and Israel is not something new, and still there was uh, a new level. Uh, red, cro uh, red lines were crossed by two sides, and uh, clearly the Iranians are signaling that after the assassination of uh, General Mahadawi, uh, for the first time they will not as in the past use Hezbollah or Hamas or the Iraqi militias, but they themselves will respond and uh, um, probably by carrying out a significant uh, uh, attack against Israeli targets all along uh, the world, I mean uh, embassies and so on and so forth, or by launching uh, rockets, missiles or drones against Israel from Iranian uh, soil. So According to American intelligence, Iran may attack Israeli or American targets in the region in the coming days, a senior White House official told CNN. According to him, the governments of the two countries are actively working on a plan to repel a possible attack. A direct strike on Israel by Iran is one of the worst-case scenarios that the Biden administration is bracing for, as it would guarantee rapid escalation of the already tumultuous of the already tumultuous situation in the Middle East. Such a strike could lead to the Israel-Hamas war broadening into a wider regional conflict, something Biden has long sought to avoid. From a publication by CNN. On April the 4th, during a telephone conversation, U.S. President Joe Biden discussed a possible Iranian attack with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Biden has made clear that the United States will stand with Israel in the face of this threat, the White House said in a statement. Reported by Diana Kolasnik, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.